What's going on guys? In today's YouTube video, I'm going to be giving you guys my 2022 room tour. My name's Kevin. Over the couple of years, I've been collecting little things for my room. It's really hard to obviously build like a room, like your dream room, because it takes a lot of dedication, time, and like a bunch of things that you actually need to buy. But I finally think that my room is like at the point where it pretty much has everything I've ever needed or wanted. I just need like the minor things, like kind of like decorations. I'm going to try my best listing everything down below that's in this video that you guys see. Um, but yeah, feel free to leave any questions down below and let's get right into the video. I'm gonna start off with my setup that you guys see right here because it's like the first thing where I start my videos like every time I'm gonna try my best to go in depth into every little thing so you guys can know the name of everything uh, So right here on the left of my desk, I have my SteelSeries RTX Pro Wireless headphones I'm pretty sure I've had these headphones for like two or three years now But honestly, they were well worth the price because they've lasted me like a long time and the audio sound quality on them is amazing Right next to my headphones, I have this Amazon Echo 4th Gen I believe and I think it was like 40 bucks but Dude, this was well worth the price because every night I like blast music on this and the bass on it is kind of decent. Honestly, very surprised it still works. Over here on this corner, I have a mixture that I actually took from my dad. I stole it from my dad, but um, I'm pretty sure it's like an outdated mixture. I don't really care though. It does a job. It gets my mic to work, so that's like all I need. Right next to the mixture, I have this IKEA plant and it has like a weird name just like every other IKEA thing. It's called Fedgeco, I think. Right here, I have a Razer Mamba Wireless and sometimes I switch it out with my Razer Viper Ultimate mouse. I get bored of this one. Honestly, those is probably like the best mouse that I've ever had. It's so light too. For my webcam, which I use in like a couple of videos, I have a Logitech C920. Um, and it's sitting above my Dell 24 inch monitor. I believe it's like 1080p, 144 hertz, but I think it's discontinued because I bought it at Best Buy and it's not up anymore. For all the people that watch my videos, I'm pretty sure you guys know that I like using background music for pretty much all of them. So I bought myself an MPK Mini from Guitar Center so I could learn how to make beats myself. Making beats though is probably honestly the hardest thing that I've ever done. Right next to the MPK though, I do have my gaming PC. This right here is my gaming PC that I use to edit my videos. Um, inside of it, I have an i9 9900K, 32 gigabytes of RAM, a 1650, which is bottlenecking. I also have two RGB NZXT fans at the back, along with the NZXT H5 channel lead case. Honestly, it gets the job done. I'm not gonna go for a 3080 because, I don't know, I'm just saving my money, it gets the job done, it does what I need it to. I hope I don't sound like shit in this video because I honestly feel really sick, but I'm still making this video for you guys, so you guys better give this video a thumbs up down below. Right now, I'm currently editing the video, and I did realize that I sounded like really dead because I was really sick, so hopefully you guys could understand that. But right now, we're gonna talk about my keyboard for you guys. A lot of you guys have asked me questions in the past about my keyboard and this is a custom built keyboard. I believe I built it for like the price of like 350 to like 400. Everything on the keyboard is customized to my preference. I even went as far as lubing my cream switches so when I click the actual key it's like more smooth. I'll make sure to break down the price for everything that's in this keyboard on the screen for you guys. For my chair I have no idea where it's from. My dad actually got it for me but it looks like any other like normal office chair. Um, for my desk, I did get it from Ikea, two Alex drawers, white ones, and then this countertop with like a marble effect on it. I'm only going to go ahead and show you guys what's inside this Alex drawer because it does have some interesting things that you guys might like. Inside of this first drawer, I have my LV wallet, which I'm pretty sure you guys have seen in a lot of videos. The video for this wallet will be somewhere at the top right of the screen. Right next to it though, I have some chapstick, and then at the bottom right here, I have two AirPods, because why not? Now I'm just playing though, one of these is just a case because I found it in school and I just kept it. And then these were all the masks that I used for like all my fits during COVID. It's kind of crazy that that happened. Down here I do have a drawer for like all my jewelry. If you guys want to check that out, I'll probably make a video on it. Just let me know down below in the comments if you guys are interested in seeing that. Down here is a very interesting drawer. This is like where I keep some of my money. Uh, as you guys see, I do have a lot of money. Uh, right here is my Lyrical Lemonade band. When I went to Lyrical Lemonade and I saw Uzi like headlining. Uh, and then this was for Playboy Cardi, which I do have a post on it in my Instagram. If you guys want to check it out, it'll be on the screen. And inside this little red case, I do have like some of the things that I've kept from my shoes, from the patent breads, and then just stock X tags that I've gotten. And lastly, camera stuff, which isn't that important. I just have a couple of GoPros and then like what I use to film the video right now. One last thing that I almost forgot about my desk setup is the mic. Uh, both of these are Rode. This is a Rode pod mic and then this is a Rode mic arm. Finally done with that part though, now we get into like my closet part. I'm not going to really go in depth because I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a video uh, showing you guys some of my pieces later. Right here I have this fucking humongous ass Louis Vuitton bag. Right next to some of my belts that I have and then a Supreme hat and a couple of other hats that I have. One thing that I recommend doing for your closet though is to color store everything because then you can just grab it fast and go. I also do have some of my favorite bags that I wear in this closet. One up there and two down here. Disgusting, ugly ass shoes down here, uh, PC parts, 
I don't know why I have snorkeling goggles there. A Neiman Marcus bag and dirty clothes. Nothing very important. Now I'm just playing down here. There's like a rack of shoes though that I don't really use that much. Right here are like two dressing shoes, soccer shoes, and then like just the beaters that I wear at school when I just want to mess them up. But now we're going to go over this side of the room, which is probably my favorite. In the last video, you guys seen me build this drawer along with this shelf right here, and I got this mirror as well. Up here is my TV, and it's currently like playing one of the videos that I've uploaded in the past. In this corner, I have my IKEA desk light that actually fell off randomly one time when I was like moving everything. I have this galaxy light that has like stars and like a moon, and this really bright light. It's like, I think, called a floodlight. The badass part about this floodlight though is that I could actually change it to like whatever color I want. And it could also react to like music, which is really cool. Right below my TV, I have my colognes that I use like every day. This is a Versace one. I don't know like the exact names of these, but I'll drop them down below if you guys want to check them out because they smell like really good. This is a Burberry one that I actually got gifted by my cousin, so shout out to her. And then this is a Tiffany & Co one, which is, smells amazing. I can't even describe the smell. It's so good. These are just a couple of my shirts that are in here, and then right here I keep my pants. And right here I have like all sleeping stuff and like some ties. Before when I used to have like a twin size bed, I used to have this rug and it used to stick out like way more. But now I feel like it's more perfect like this. I got it on Amazon, it's really really comfortable. The only bad part though is that some of the fuzz gets stuck onto your socks like when you first get it. In the corner over here I do have my Supreme backpack that I take to school like every day. Um, I just leave it over here in this corner. I do have my school stuff in it right now Kind of just looks good in this corner. It just stays out the way One big thing that I did not show you guys yet is that I got a new bed The bed frame is actually from Ikea because I went to Ikea like not long ago and got this bed I'm pretty sure you guys remember that old brown bed frame that you guys saw that did not match any of this black in my room I used to have a twin size bed, but now I have this full size bed and I also did make sure to change the sheets So like it can match more of like the walls I did also end up getting like new pillows for my bed, including this memory foam one. I really recommend getting a memory foam one if you don't already have one. I swear when I say this, it makes you fall asleep in like 5 minutes. Then I just got this football one just for decoration in the background, just because I don't want to have like all the same type of colors down here. I already had this one in the past, but this is just like a pillow so that when you're watching videos, you can lay on and relax on. It's also so that you can watch like TV. Underneath my bed, I do have one drawer on each side, and they're actually like really large. In this side, I just keep a couple of blankets that I don't use yet. I'm not going to really pull it out on this side because it's going to hit my mirror, but I just have like a bunch of boxes of like things that I own. These drawers do save me a lot of space though. This cable right here underneath my pillow is actually this anchor portable charger that I use. I do have an outlet over there so that I can charge my phone, but I don't really use that outlet because my bed's against it. Uh, so I just use this portable charger like every night and I think it lasts like a week. Next to my bed I do have my mirror and it's honestly like a perfect place where I put it because it like barely fit. Didn't really need that much of a big mirror, just needed something small so I could look at myself in the mornings. Just to see if my fits are hard enough, just to see if I'm ready to go on with my day. I think I also place this floodlight in the perfect spot as well because it does reflect on the mirror which reflects on like the ceiling and stuff. You just can't really tell right now because of this background light. Now my personal like favorite favorite spot of my room is this shelf right here. These are like all the shoes that I've been like collecting all over the years. I'm not going to really show you guys that because I'm going to show you guys that in a different video of a shoe collection. Up here at the top left I do have a Reese's box with the collab with Reese's and the cause. And then underneath that I have a Supreme sticker that comes with like every piece that you buy from Supreme. A little mini playing cards just for decoration. My Crepper Tech which I actually do use for my shoes. For this video I actually started, I added this All Saints tag just because of the fact that I really like All Saints and I put it right next to this Louis Vuitton bag with the StockX sticker. Below the top shelf I do have this book about cars that me and my brother got at an event. Me and my brother really like going to like a lot of car events and car meets, uh, so I got that there. I just keep it down here because it's like a little nice touch. On the edges of the shelf sometimes I leave things here because I forgot to put them away the, like the night before. Um, and then down here I do have this All Saints bag along with some shoe boxes. With a Jenga box, which I don't know why this is here right now. I think we pretty much wrapped it up, guys. I mean, there's not that much to go over now. Pretty sure I went over, like, my whole entire room. I wouldn't say myself I have, like, the smallest or, like, the biggest room ever. But I try my best to use this, like, the best that I can. And I honestly think I did, like, a really good job. The only thing that I'm planning on doing now is maybe getting, like, a tapestry back here. Back there. And then a painting, like, here. Or here. Something like that. Or maybe even paintings here. I'm just going to show you guys everything, like, one last time.
I'm gonna go ahead and end off today's video there. Hopefully you guys wanted to enjoy it. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. And also if you're new here and you're interested in this sort of content, don't forget to subscribe down below as well. I really hope you guys did enjoy my room and I really hope you guys liked it. Everything's gonna be linked down below in the description like I told you guys. And also feel free to ask me any sort of questions. I'll be open to answer like any of them. But yeah guys, have a good night day whenever you're watching. Peace.